sige go. Det er risengrød. <laughs> kan jeg lige bare have en sagt, when I was doing that in a serious... <laughs> Thank you. It's Christmas. This is gorgeous. Welcome to the test kitchen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having this me. This is where the magic happens. Today we have the lovely Sophie Hagen with us. She's a comedian, podcaster, author, and she's here to talk about her favorite Christmas dish. So it's a Danish dessert. It's called Risalamang, and it is a rice base pudding. It's based on the main meal, which is like a rice porridge, which we leave in the attic for Santa. And then you put one whole almond in it. And then the person who gets that gets the marzipan pig. Vi, are you going to make our own Ottolinghi version? Yeah, so yeah. I've made like a salted almond brittle. And then for the cherry compote, I've added some sumac. What's the song? The rice yeah, pudding yeah. song, so the rice the pudding song. song. It's not a rice pudding, there's a rice porridge song. Rice porridge song. So you go... <laughs> I've made a, a homemade advocat. It's similar to, in America, they have eggnog. And in this version, we've added some light rum. Oh, by the way, this folded through rice pudding. Not going to lie. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna finish my I sorry. think I'm gonna make oh, yeah. myself scarce now. I'm gonna start with the rice pudding. Yes. I have here some pudding rice. I'm actually really nervous because this is like practically, this is like every year you have this for Christmas, right? In, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Denmark. It's essential. It's essential for Danish Christmas. I'm gonna add vanilla. That's... This is some sugar. Oh, thank God. Just a little bit. <laughs> bit of salt, milk. So just a couple of strips of lemon zest. This just start it on a high heat and let it sort of... On a high heat? Just to come to a boil. This is the bit okay. where I need to wash so that I don't burn it like yeah. probably many households do, right? Well, that, that's my, my whole childhood is just kind of being stressed out watching my mother attempt to do this. Do you want a cookie? Yeah. Ooh, okay, they look fancy. They are fancy because it's crispy. I think I'm going to take one of these because that looks pistachio-y. Yeah. Can you check that snack bar? Yes, uh, I know. Mm, it's, it's it actually... seems... Are you sure? It seems it's close, isn't it? <laughs> Let's make the brittle. So I'm using flaked almonds. We're just going to toast them for about 10-15 minutes in the oven. Now that this yeah. has come to a simmer, I'm going to turn it right down to sort of medium-low. So while I make the caramel, you're going to be in charge of just keeping an eye on that. Okay. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> okay. So I've got a pan. Um, I'm heating the pan up because I'm going to make a dry caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you give that a nice stir. It's looking great. Oh. It's starting feels, to absorb. It feels like it's going sticking. to the bottom. Am I wrong? I think you are wrong. Am I paranoid? Okay. She's wrong. Okay. It's not burnt at all. A bit of sugar at a time. And you can see it's already starting to melt oh, wow. straight away. There's a couple of lumps there, but they will melt away. Take it off the heat for a little bit. And now I'm just going to add the rest. Some butter. Some salt. Ooh. The almonds. Okay. It smells so good. Buttery sugar. So I'm just going to stir this together. And if I feel it's not incorporating, I can just put it back on the heat for a bit. And the warmth will help it. So I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit. You can leave it in clusters, you know, do whatever you like. It's okay. looking delicious. It's, it's getting thicker now. Yep. And that's exactly what I want. And it smells so much. Do you smell the lemon I and smell the vanilla? Home. I smell home. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. OK, great. Because I think that's the important thing about food, especially at Christmas, right? You yeah. want to evoke those yeah. childhood memories. Did your mum make a good version of this? My mum does not cook. She doesn't cook. So who telling, made it in your house? I was just telling the boss that my... Uh, <laughs> no, no, my mother. My mother did, cooked, but she doesn't cook. But she doesn't, OK. <laughs> do you like to cook, generally? Mm. I do like it, but I'm not that good at it. I'm not good at improvising. Mm -hmm. so, but I follow recipes and I have my printed out recipes that I've laminated <laughs> because then you can have them out when you're cooking. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, this yeah. is really looking perfect right now. I'm going to yeah. switch off the heat. So it's thick, it's creamy, it smells amazing. Oh God, it smells so good. And then I'm going to decant it into something 
fairly flattish because I want to chill this down. So now I'm just going to cover this with something because for me, I find the skin on rice pudding. It's not ideal. Offensive. <laughs> Some people love it. I do not. But you love burnt rice. But just, That's just, fine. Yeah, okay. All right, so the next bit, you're going to make the cherry compote for us. So in your pan, if you could please put in the cherries. So these are frozen cherries. So then if you just want to add two tablespoons of lemon juice and some of that lemon zest and then a bit of sugar. So now um, we're just going to stir that around and we're going to wait for that to come to a simmer. I thought some um, like an almond liqueur would be nice in here. Got a bit of cornstarch here. If you want to add two tablespoons to that, we'll just set that aside while sure we wait for the cherries. No little... Yeah, no lumps, please. No lumps, please. I want to sing Christmas carols. Oh, and I've got my favorite serving oh, that's thing. Pretty. It's so beautiful. It's a your time got this at an antiques market. Pour it all in whilst stirring at the same time. Wha okay. So this is like rubbing your Pour tummy. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> stirring and then I'm pouring. So I'm trying to stir without mushing yeah. the cherries. And then at the same time you can put in the sumac. Yeah. This is good. So let's take that off the heat and we're going to finish off the rice. So this is just double cream, um, unsweetened because we've put the sugar in the rice. Just gonna tighten it up a little bit by hand. Just always have better control that way. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. So it's it's definitely not holding a peak. Okay, so the rice pudding from earlier is nice and cold, and I'm gonna loosen it with a little bit more amaretto. <laughs> One for luck, because I like things in threes. <laughs> sure, that's actually why. quite often. Fold in the cream, but yes. maybe half first, okay. so that we don't overmix. Is this looking familiar now to you? Oh, yes. Yeah? Are you so. happy with that? I'm happy. Perfect. So this is the almond brittle that we made. Break some off. Oh, that is, <laughs> that's a nice, <laughs> isn't it? Oh my God. Just roughly chop. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. I mean... Oh, there we go. It's, that's the thing about recipes is when it's like a pinch of roughly chopped. We're like, I don't know, what is that? Yeah, so if you just want to add that to the rice pudding. Would you do this? Or is that a an no, amateur yeah, no, it's not move? Sure. Okay, yeah, and then just and fold then it in. Fold it in. I have this amazing Perfect. talent to arrive at the right, exactly. the, at the very right No, this looks really good. Oh, yeah. So, well, yes, yeah, so you can be here to hear about the almond, because I want to hear more about the almond. That looks really good. So we need to find a way of, of hiding that. If you want to turn around. <laughs> we can like look the at the spices. <laughs> We've got mace, we've got coriander, we've got clove. I don't know what cinnamon. half of these are. That is so beautiful. Isn't it? it is, isn't it? It's lovely. How did you do it? I made that one. Did you? Yeah, yeah did you did. Yeah. It's all me. Let's go. Great. So we've got four glasses and there's only three of us. So if we have any takers. We have. Millie. Millie. <laughs> She's here. How can I help? <laughs> can I help How can we help you? Thank and you. one of them has a hidden almond. Yes. So Sophie, would you traditionally eat this on Christmas Day? Well, we don't do Christmas Day, we do Christmas Eve. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yum. Mm. This is sensational. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. So how does it compare to the original? Be, be honest. Do you want me to leave the room? Yeah. <laughs> It tastes like an adult version. This is like, oh, I'm an adult now. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You got the almond. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's all about the leftovers. Mm. The next day, what is that a thing in Denmark? Like a Christmas sandwich or? Like a rye bread with the leftover pork. And you'd have like a bunch of marzipan, a bunch of nougat, uh, some uh, blanched almonds, some chocolate. And then you just build, like, make little figures or like little oh, snowmen made of oh, marzipan. Oh, that's and lovely. So who got that? You got the almonds. You got the almonds. Nice. Usually you would get a really nice, chunky, pink marzipan pig. But we're cheap. That's, that's <laughs> what, uh, that, oh, that, that's what same, you, same. That's what you're getting. <laughs> Thank a little so much. pig. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. It's Born. been the best day of my life. I think Millie's quite a fan of this. Millie's. That's not the big one. So, yeah. I don't like fun. Well, you haven't had any yet. Cheers. 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 Merry Christmas. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. The recipe is down below. 
Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.